So this video is about searching through programs in Mazatrol. So first of all we click the search button and we've got one, two, three, four, five different types of search that we can do. Simple one, unit number search, just type in the number of the unit. So if I type in unit zero and press input, it will take me to the head of the program. So I can type in there any unit number that I want to find, unit number 25. So that's a quick way of getting there. Now try and use this all the while. Don't be paging through the programs just till you eventually find what you want because this is a much more efficient way once you get used to using it. Then we've got last search. Last search will send you by pressing input will take you to the bottom of the program. So it takes you to the end of the program. And then if we do the next one, which is unit search, this is searching for specific types of unit. So we could say um, find, uh, for example, a subprogram. So now when I press input, it will find each occurrence. It said designated data not found. The reason for that is because I am at the base of the program. So it's going forward and trying to find this. Um, so if I say unit number search, type in zero, input to take me to the head, and then we'll just try this again. So we say search, uh, we're going unit search, and we're going for sub program. But the great thing about this, if I want to know what sub programs are in this main program, I've got this one called Feedstock M. So it's Feedstock Mazatrol, the M, blue M is Mazatrol. Then I've got another one, MOO sub. And that's E-I-A-I-S-O. That's what that red E is for. Another one. Another one. And I'm finding every single one. I know I'm not skipping any. I know there's nothing in this that I haven't seen. And then eventually it comes up again. Designated data not found. So that way you know. that That's the good thing about using this search facility. Is you won't miss anything. Whereas if you're paging through. Uh, you could well uh, not find uh, a unit and uh, completely miss it. So if we now look at uh, some of the others, uh, we can search, for example, for a WPC shift. Um, I am going to have to go back to the head of my program again. So if I do this uh, search, unit number search, unit number zero, press input to the head. And now I'm going to try this. Uh, let's go to search again, search. And we're saying unit search and we're going to say well uh, let's see what uh, uh, index units we've got so press that finds all my index units every single one so i've not missed any really useful so that's the um this one that we call unit search so it's a specific type of unit this one's really useful, which is tool search. So let's just do uh, unit number search zero. Make sure we're at the head of that program. And, um, and we'll do this um, search. And we'll now say tool search, search. sorry. And this gives us all the different types of tools that might be in our program. And we can search for any one. So I could say, for example, a drill. In turning this is. And it finds it. Finds it. So designated data not found means I'm at the end of the program. So if I do a search, unit number search, zero, back to the beginning. And then I can then say search, tool search, and as I've said, end mill. What end mills have I got in there? Each time I press input, takes me to all my end mills. So I can see every end mill that's in there. So you can see how useful this is when you're finding things and try and get in the habit of using it. Don't don't keep paging over and searching for things because although you might think, well, you know, this is the way I've always done it, you'll be much quicker if you use something like this. Now this last one, TRS search, let's just go back to the beginning again just to make sure we're ready for it. And then we're just going to do this uh, search. Let's see if you can guess what this is. Well, actually, it's the transfer unit is when we swap from the main spindle to the sub spindle so th that's another specific or strategic point that i might want to find in the program to do my uh, transfer 
so that's the point where it swaps from the main spindle to the sub so that's um the way the search works one two three four five different choices of the way you could search through programs um and just use it you know and get used to using it and then it will become second nature as to the way that you run your control okay thanks for watching